built this tent Steps so light, I barely touch the ground Everybody wants to know how Brick by brick, I put them in the ground Walk, walk like I built, walk, walk, walk like I built this I do it for my people, family business First of all, what do you guys think of the new intro? kind of just messing around with that so I thought I'd throw that in there. Leave a like if you did like it and then I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment box below. So just a new intro, testing out, see what you guys think. And second of all, welcome to the 12th episode of the Beach Prep and for the new subscribers, I'm not prepping for a show, just kind of prepping for the summer, just cutting down, so that's what the Beach Prep title came from. No, I know his last video, it wasn't an episode of the series, but I just wanted to get that supplement review out there for you guys and if you did happen to watch that and it helped you, I'm glad that it did, I'm glad that you guys watched that and if you haven't, that is the BPI Sports product review that I just did in the last video. But today's workout is going to be chest and back, it's a hyper day, now the reason why I'm definitely filming this workout is because I am at school gym so I'm going to show you guys how I can do a chest and back workout in a facility that you know doesn't have as many machines and there are no racks it is all Smith machines so I just want to show you guys that last time I was at Seton Hall I showed you guys my leg workout and how I was able to do that without squatting or anything like that in the squat racks so today's emphasis is chest and back it's a hyper day so it's going to be lighter weights higher reps and the other most part, important part of this video that you guys are probably waiting for is the fact that today is going to be refeed because as you can see right now today's Saturday for me you guys are watching this on the Sunday but Saturday was my lowest weight in so far to date at 155.8 pounds so that is good progress I'm just want to do a little bit of a refeed day I'll show you guys that at the end of the video but refeed is kind of because I want to keep up my calories as much as possible through this cut while I still see some progress so just kind of a booster give me some extra energy to get through the next few days but I'll go over all that in more detail in the recap video which will be the next video that you see Monday morning at 9 a.m. So hopefully you enjoy the workout footage. It's gonna be kind of quick. Just probably record one set of every exercise that I do do and to show you how I do it in the gym at school. Keep it kind of short and sweet so you can get to the good part of the food. And again, I'll go over that in the recap video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, give a thumbs up if you did enjoy the intro. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys later. I feel so alive. I've never felt this way before It must be you and I It's got me thinking about us more It's these bright lights in my clear days And I can't stop but think about the way that you Move around up and down on that stage It's your future vibes Bright lights in my clear trance so I
So real quick, let's go over that refeed. Am I full? Yes. Did I get rid of some cravings? Yes. Did I have ice cream that has sugar in it? Yes. Am I worried about too much sugar? No. I calculated everything in that I was going to have for the rest of the day, and I'm only about 10 to 15 grams over what my normal sugar intake has been for the last few months. Pretty much why I did it in one sitting was one, food was free. I used my meal plan, so all that food that I had was free. Didn't have to drive anywhere, didn't have to spend any money. Why I did it in one sitting was I was pretty hungry after the workout you guys just saw and the food was available so I just got it done. Will I structure refeed days more closely in the future? Yes. This was just for fun and I was hungry, the food was available all at once so I did it. I did not bring my scale with me so I didn't actually get exact numbers but estimated as best as I could and stuck to that but I got cravings out of the way, had some things that I wanted to have and just had fun with it so that was the refeed. Uh, I still have some calories that I need to hit by the end of the day and I'll go over that at the end. It's just some carbs and more protein to reach my end goals. But I'll go further into the refeed and wine with my weight and all that kind of stuff and how it works in the recap video, which will be tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. The last meal I'm gonna have in many, many, many hours later when I'm not full anymore will just be rice and chicken. That's what I need to hit my goals for today. My goals for today were 170 protein, keeping that consistent, around 300 carbs, and 60 to 65 fat. That was the plan for today's refeed. It'll give me a boost the next few days with extra calories in the gym, so I'm looking forward to that. Got some pretty intense workouts coming up. So that was today's refeed day, first one. I do structure them sometimes. I'll space them out throughout the day. Each meal maybe will be, I'll add a few more calories here and there rather than just one sitting. But I was hungry. That was my second meal of the day. Food was available to me, so I just did it that way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully that makes some sense. No, you don't have to do it that way. I mean, some people just do cheat days or cheat meals, but I did track everything. It's all in my uh, my Macros Plus app. It does work, just gotta know how to do it. So, gonna have my last meal later today. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out the intro. Let me know what you guys think of that as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, 9 a.m. as usual. Thank you all, and as always, have a great day.